you know, it's a, it's this is a system that's evolved, and 20 years ago, uh, roughly, I think 45 percent of um, wins above replacement were due to players that were uh, beyond six years of service, and that number now is 25 percent. So. I think that clubs, including the Red Sox, have been slow to sort of adjust. I think the, the price of, uh, of a win above replacement, which is what a lot of clubs look at, it, and some, some clubs, uh, hope, including us, look at much more than that. But if you just look at that as, as one thing that a number of clubs, I think, look at, I remember five years ago, I think that number was something like five or six million, maybe as much as seven million dollars per win. And now it's ten million dollars per win. So so uh, you know we have a lot more production coming from younger players for whatever reason. Uh, so I think that has negatively impacted uh, free agency. And also there's been a lot of money paid at the very top by that I mean very top players. There are a lot of players now. I think there's something like 45 or 50 players that are paid more than 20 million a year at this point, and uh, so that, that means above average, average free agents uh, are not getting the kind of deals that probably they should get. Um, so it's a it's complicated, but I don't think there's there's certainly not any uh, lack of desire among teams to to win. Uh, people talk about tanking, but in in systems which pretty much all of these uh, all American sports have a system where if you finish low, you get a high draft pick. Um, there is there is going to be when you're not competitive in a particular year, you, you don't have a a real uh, incentive to uh, change that. And, and uh, in fact, you know, so it's a problem in basketball. It's a problem. In baseball, but the only way you can change that is if you get rid of the draft system that we have, and I'm not sure that's that's the thing to do. You mentioned.